someone tell me the reason? I'm in the chaos dimension. Trapped in a brutal adventure. Glad you're with us as we are ready to begin face-off one, period one. The Canucks have the first possession of the game. That puck went loose off the enemy. The Stars waiting back in the defensive zone. Pass attempt to Sagan. Laid on to Jamie Benn. Let's it go. Save there. Trying to go to Pearson. A neutral zone interception. Oh, my, what a hit. Edler's apparently got the memo here. This is going to be a physical game. Both teams are going to want to get on the body. But he wants his club to have the upper hand. Let's it go. Say. Got it back. And he hatchets one. Need to get rid of it. Passing one off now to Rangelo. Goes back deep for it. The Canucks lug the puck in their own end. Gotten quickly back. Pitching this one to Pearson. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. Pass. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Dallas on the move now in the defensive zone. Thinking attack here. Drives it. He scores! Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. The Canucks Star prevail on the draw. Scored by number 23. Gains the zone. Assisted by number 24. And by number 30. Danny he takes that point pass. Six minutes. On to Berchi. Just inside the line. Great shooting lane. Terrific save off the redirect. Puck is thrown to Janmark. The Stars are at the wing in neutral ice. Gathered up again by Berchi. Gains that offensive line. Read that play in his own end. The best part about a game like this that is played with great pace is the coaches can't stick their thumbs into it and slow the game down. There's no time for meetings on the bench. Flop back in, and it's time for another line change. Dallas continues on in their own end. Pass to the slot. How on earth did he ever get a piece of that one? Skates it into the zone. Terrific determination by Coleman. Snapping a pass to Spezza. Big time deep there. Brings a shot. That shot came from just six inches. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. Now it's directed to Besser. Intercepts that pass on the attack. The Canucks move toward the neutral zone. Solid work there by Jason Spezza. Pitching it to Pitlick. Oh, snaps the shot. Deflected off the blocker. Missed all of it. Points it. Nice work by Jason Spezza. He gets it back. Terrific fake. 
Close call there. Rings it off the post. Anybody that has a chance to score is looking for the bounce. Doesn't matter if you're up or down. In this case, they're up, but they still want a little cushion. The Stars suffer a tripping call. The Canucks are going to try out their power play for the first time of the game. Well, you get your power play on the ice for the first time, you can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. Have a positive power play. Time of the penalty, 17 minutes, 53 seconds. The Stars recoiling back in their own end. He gains the zone. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. At least he protected his goaltender. Puck needs to be first, offside. Canucks got that faceoff win. Now what? Feeds the point. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. In that defensive zone, an important play. Dallas has possession on the wing and neutral ice. And that is an offside. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Chip to Hughes. Vancouver's power play did not do it for them. Good, solid defense there. Perchie's got to shovel it out of there. First period has been completed. And so, intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. Eddie, we're about to enter the second period here. What did you think of the opening period of our game? Vancouver spent the last period defending, and that hasn't helped them score. If they can get more possession time, they'll be able to get better chances going forward. Period two has begun. Let's see what happens here. Directing that one to Edler. Moving it to Tanev. Looking to Horvath. Brings it in for an attack. Impressive moves up close. Loose puck due to the play by Dan. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. Tanev's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Sagan's going to the box, and the call is stripped. Vancouver's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone, and get it on net far more frequently. Shoots one. That's a good save, not special. Free puck off a defender. That roadblock was set up. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. He throws it there. That puck struck him in front. Flings it. Blocked. A penalty call coming up. Vancouver's got a minor penalty here for interference. Four players aside, and so we'll see what develops here. The open ice leads to some great scoring chances, four on four. You get a defenseman into the rush. If you don't score, the other team's guaranteed a two on one going back the other way. Driving in from no man's land. A big, big hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Breakaway. That's a confident goal scorer there when you fake to the forehand and put it in. He didn't leave very much room. He's in the butterfly. He's got most of the net shelled off, but he doesn't cover it all, and it ends up behind him. Dallas has increased their lead to 2 to nothing. At the rate they're firing shots, it might skyrocket. Vancouver's got that puck off the draw. Power play by number 24. 
The Canucks are skating it up and neutralize. Cuts the pass. The Stars have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Dallas with possession of the puck in the middle. Broken right up. Takes that pass from the other point. He loads it up. Score! And it's a one-goal game. He finds some space in the high slot. His teammate sets him up for the one-timer, and it's in the back of the net. Man, the top glove edge though was wide open. He drops into a butterfly. You can throw a football in there right now. Vancouver has gotten a goal here to get back to within a single goal with lots of time left in the game. We're still in the second. Neutralized face-off win. By number six, Brock Spencer. Vancouver's in control of the puck in their own end and readying an attack. Drives down the wing at center. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Collected by Lovejoy. The Stars with control at center ice. Whistle is blown. And a man with guilt all over his face is going to the box. Vancouver's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. The Stars win that faceoff. That would hit him in the back. Team has the advantage with the power play, and he gets himself in a scoring position to get that one past the goaltender. Not very often anymore do you have enough room to take a slap shot while you're on the move. He is able to beat the goaltender clean with that. The Stars here in the second period have a two-goal lead, and it's a huge lead on the shot board. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Puck loose, couldn't get through. Shoots, terrific shot, but a denial. John Comber, time of the goal. Nine. All a part of generating an offense, a little pass off from the goal. And he gains the zone. Gathered up again by Jason Spezza. Dallas charges up from the wing. A shot. That shot came from nowhere. That great save was all positioning. Pass attempt to Beagle. Swipe that one at center ice. Vancouver's carrying it in their own end. Crosses that line. He's got that pass at the point. Off the post and the crossbar. The Stars controlling play now in their own end. Great job on a cut pass. Gathered up again by Como. Trying to go to Alexiak. Moved along and in. Vancouver's along the wing at center ice. Jostled off the puck. Passing one off now to Faxa. Has that one measured in his own end. Vancouver's lugged it back into their own end. Rifled back down, so time for a player change for the Canucks. Lovejoy's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Can't stall the game. Ice it. Clean win on the draw. A smart recovery by Lovejoy. The cursed goals are the ones in the first minute and the last. Will we see one here? Can start the attack going in the zone. 
pitching this one to Shen. Puck is thrown to Gronlund. Couldn't retain possession. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Let's check out the shots on goal through those two periods. 40 minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? The Canucks dock trail going into this third period. They have to start converting some of those chances that they've had. The time of possession has been in their favor, but they're still down. Carries it on in from center. He missed the net by a mile. Boy, that puck was really humming off the stick. Unfortunately, it missed the net badly. And ripped to Edler. Nicely received at the point. Score! They're back to within one. down with a slap shot. There's got to be a lot of whip in that stick. Bishop's disappointment here is pretty evident, Edzo. He stops a big chunk of the puck, but he can't keep it in front of him, and it rolls into the net. The Canucks have cut the lead in half, and they're only behind by one here, with still time left in this third period. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Assisted by number 23, Alexander What a hit that was! Jamie Benn's not shy to throw his body around here at any time. The Canucks, through the neutral zone, continue on. Gains the blue line. Good intercept. Dallas's team play has forced another turnover in this tight game. Why? Around it again. Snapping a pass to Sagan. Puck out of the zone, and so they'll regroup. Dogged determination there by Sagan. Dallas drives up ice from the boards. Big time deep there. Great save. Continues on back a little further. Banked right ahead. In with it now. Has it back deep. And he gains the zone. Good shooting place. Added away with authority. Now it's directed to Stetcher. Oh, and a missed pass, and the puck goes out. The poke check worked. Breakaway. Wonderful stop. Stays right there. Somebody's crossed the line here. I think he knows what might happen. Well, when you cross the line like that, you better be ready to get involved. And for sure, the task is taken here. fight is over with one last bombastic punch. Thought it was going to be over a little bit earlier than that, Doc. Oh, that was a grueling scrap. They're going to get a chance to rest for five minutes. Defensive zone win to Pearson. The Canucks skated up on the side. Took that away in his own zone. That went off someone. Loose puck. Slid to Horvat. Steps in from the neutral zone. And a save. Back to the point. One-time blast. Score! 
Park. Oh, a thrilling return. We're tied and still some time. get the lead you want to pin the lead down you want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out but they don't they give up the time goal and now we're back to even and so timeout is taken and both teams get a chance to gather together for strategy oftentimes that timeout is called doc so the team can reestablish their game they are up on two wheels right now I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Pitching it to Pearson. And a pass that just did not work and forces the ball back as far as center. He's got it. Pearson's trying to get from his own end to center. Took it up the boards and holds. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Say. Cut that pass in his own end. What a ripper. Great chance, but he missed. How did he shoot the puck that quick? That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. The Canucks with possession in the defensive zone. Directing that one to Levo. Takes it right back. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Drives behind. Cut that pass in his own end. Pressing on with it up the wing. And it's a good pickup. The Canucks drive through mid-ice next to the boards. Terrific chance there, but the pass fails. Right near the line. Oh, broke it up. The Stars, through the neutral zone, have it. It's frantic time. Under a minute to go. Scooped up by Zuccarello. Big time move. Got it in his own end. Moving it to Pedersen. Maybe can change the tide at center ice. That puck landed in the bench area, and they can't play Always pretty cool to see people get excited when the puck is shot into the bench and they know that they're maybe going to be able to get their hands on it. They're all waving around, hoping somebody flips it to them just over the glass. Gathered up by Coleman. Couldn't get through. It's loose. Oh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Displays incredible skill with that. One. In the slot. Sets up Shaw. Got that pass in his own end. Hot loose. Strong defensive play by Como. Brings a shot. Oh, that was close. From that position on the ice, he's, he's got this one. He's got to hurry. Doesn't get the shot off. As that one and holds. Face-off win. A tremendous back and forth through three periods. Perhaps a decision will come in sudden death overtime. Horvat's goal takes us to overtime. That's where we'll be when we come back. You like overtime or do you like shootouts? You might get your wish on one. You definitely do on the other because we're underway in OT. Goaltender pass brought ahead. And there's a delayed penalty call. Nicely into the zone. Markstrom's at the bench, extra man over the boards. 
Let's go, Rister. Very important time to have a minor penalty call. And so special teams become important. Dallas has called for an interference minor. Okay, as I make the entries on my penalty sheet, what we come out with here is a one-man advantage four on three. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets, and it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. Shoots one. The shot is off. Sometimes you rush the shot and end up missing the net. Need to slow things down next time. Drives that pass off. Back on his stick. Hammers one. Shakes right through. Vancouver's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Shoots. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Hammers one. That's the way to make him pay. Well, that's a good open ice hit right there. You can Might be the game. Heads on to the corner. Stands him up. Looking to Stetcher. Last minute of play in the overtime period. Are we going to get a late winning goal or will there be a shootout? Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Drill. Paddled aside. That puck sails away. Coming up is the largest play in this game so far. The largest play. It's a draw. Great offensive zone win. He missed the net. Guaranteed the goalie never saw it, but I know he heard it. That's how hard it was. A penalty has been called at a critical point in the game, and the power play unit comes out. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. It is a rare power play that is a four against three, but that's what we have right now, and it begins. They won it. Now what can they do? Two wide. Turned aside off the pad. Fires a shot. No! Gotta get it on net. The Stars carrying it in their own end. Coglianos headed to neutral ice. Gains the zone. Toward the net. Oh, pad stop on the redirect. Pass attempt to Besser. They've got a two-on-one. Propelled to Besser. Off one post and the only crossbar. To Cogliano. Canucks are getting a tremendous performance in goal tonight, even though offensively they haven't been strong. He's kept them in here, and here's one example. We'll return after these words. Someone has to go first. This is the guy. Rod Besser. He scores! For his team. Number Let's a shot go. A magnificent pad save. Pedersen's got a great opportunity here. His team's ahead. He can make it bigger. He scores! Sagan's got the ultimate pressure here. He must score or it's over. No, he has failed. The Stars have failed yet again in the shooting. I know what practice theme is going to be about tomorrow. <laughs> A fun game for us. We hope it was for you. That's our show. 
More games to come. If they match this one, they will be special. So long for now.